Hello, this is Christopher Kenworthy and welcome to Camera Flythrough in After Effects. I'm going to show you every possible way to move the camera in After Effects so you can create this sort of result where the camera is diving in towards a 2D image which then becomes 3D and we fly right the way through that image. Even if you've never used cameras before, I'll show you exactly how to position everything in After Effects and how to get used to the 3D space. If you've worked with 3D before, then I'm going to take this to a level that you've hopefully never been to before. So you'll see exactly how to position elements to create a perfect composition and then move your camera around them. I'll show you every detail of adjusting where the camera looks and how it flies through a scene. Then by adding blurring, depth blurring and depth of field you create a really cinematic effect. I'll show you how to add additional elements and change the lighting in a scene so you really have control over how it looks. Then I'll show you how you can make it look as though you have a 2D image floating in 3D space. So here we have what looks like a painting of some angels but then as the camera flies towards this we dive into it and it becomes 3D. This tutorial was inspired by the opening sequence to a TV series called Carnival by HBO and in the opening sequence the camera flew down to still images which then became moving footage. So I'll show you how you can achieve that effect, it's really powerful. And although this is a very specific project with a very specific outcome, these are all techniques that you can use on whatever sort of footage you have. Whether you're using moving images, text, 3D, whatever it is, these camera moves can be used in any After Effects composition. I'm also going to show you how you can work with still images and by arranging them in 3D space you can create movies and fly through them. This means ordinary 2D photographs can be made into a 3D sequence. And by blending and combining those images in new ways, you can create really complex and new looks. So I hope you enjoy this course, and by the end of it, I really hope I've demystified cameras in After Effects, and that you feel completely comfortable and confident in flying your camera through a 3D scene.